Estrogen plays a very distinct role in the uh, breast changes throughout a lady's lifetime. So for example, in the puberty age group where there's minimal to no estrogen being much produced at that point, the uh, breast tissue is very dense. And so that's one main reason we don't do mammograms on ladies in their 20, in their you know, 19 year old, because it looks like a snowstorm. It's so dense that you can't really, you can't read it. However, as they then become actively menstruating and the estrogen levels are you know, up and down and they're maybe becoming pregnant, the breast tissue is very responsive to the estrogen molecule, leading to uh, increased uh, duct, uh, breast duct development, increased lobules, which are the parts in the uh, end of the ductal system in preparation for possible pregnancy. And of course, pregnancy itself leads to lots of changes, swelling of the breast and getting ready for that child, potentially breastfeeding and so on. Then the estrogen plays a role due to the lack of estrogen. So as a lady goes through her menopausal phase of her life and the estrogen levels fall dramatically, then the breast tissue loses a lot of its integrity and becomes more fatty replaced. So you can see that both on physical examination, you might see sagging of the breast because of that, and clearly on mammograms you'll see a difference on, as far as the density of the breast.